Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. Alright, we are now in the next area. We're over in the Cordell Plains, and we just got to the new town of... Brian, Brian, Mar, Brian, you know, th this is one of the things that, that's always bugged me about, uh, I've always played the games and read Nintendo Power. I never actually had to say a lot of these names out loud. And now that I'm doing this series, I, I, I find that I'm a little annoyed at how little I, I can actually pronounce, uh, vaguely correctly. <laughs> My apologies. All right. I am a Kana. I used to have an unusual statue, but I dropped it near the river. It was a great find and will be difficult to replace. Have you seen it? Not yet, but now that I know about it, I will be looking for a statue near the river. The village of Oak lies deep in the forest. The people there don't understand our language. I've heard that there's a village where only women live. I wonder. There are two routes to Mount Saber, one west and one north. Both roads are very dangerous. If you go east, you'll find the forest. It's a grand maze where plants will shoot poison. Well, that seems important to know. This town is mostly for travelers. Pretty noisy, isn't it? Oh, a pub. Hello, do you have any fish and chips? The wise man Tornell lives with his pupils in the north. Welcome. Please have some refreshments. Well, sell me some refreshments. Okay, they didn't have a lot of the extraneous stuff at this time. Memory limitations. I just found out how to get rich quick. Later. Hmm. Wonder if we'll see him again. I told him that I made a lot of money from stones I found on Mount Saber. After that, he got excited. Wait, is that the same Mount Saber that somebody was telling us was super dangerous? Is there anything you'd like to sell? Nope, I am not pawning anything just yet. I don't have anything to pawn just yet. Alright, there's the inn. So, if we had been able to hold out, we could have gotten the Carpus Shield here for $10 cheaper. Oh, I keep getting disconnected from my chat room, too. I wonder where the the internet uh, issue is. And we can now upgrade from... Let's double check. Is that up? Yeah, we can upgrade from the tanned hide to the leather armor. Uh, that will bring our melee defense up by another four. Tanned hide is a plus two and leather armor is a plus six. We have the money and there's a bronze shield which is another which is a similar jump up in defense that's a little more expensive though so we're, we're gonna have to grind a little bit for that bronze shield let's go ahead and get the leather armor nope let's go equip the leather armor and let's go pawn our old one I would like to pawn the tanned hide. And they give us 50 bucks for it. Uh, by the by, the pawn shops are a flat fee. So whether you go here or any other pawn shop, it's 50 bucks. That's it. That's all they'll give you for it. There's not a lot of negotiation. There's not a lot of places where you'll get a different price for stuff too. Uh, this is one of maybe two or three different areas where you'll see a difference. Anything else? Nope. All right, please come again. Oh, this is also a good way to free up your inventory if you got like a lot of antidotes and you don't need them anymore. All right, and so that's our item. Oh, what does he have? Does he have the, no, he does not have fruits of power. He's got the medical herbs, the antidotes, and the warp boots, and that's it. All right, so somebody was talking about a wise man to the north. Somebody was talking about a lost statue. 
let's uh let's see if we can find the statue first and then we'll go take a look in the north shall we also this gives us a chance to build up our experience and money hi Oh, yep, that's right, that's right, that's right. They, uh, <laughs> they have a hatchet. They, they will, uh, they will, they will throw some hatchets at you. That's where that bronze shield come in handy, because the hatchet part counts as melee. The money's nice, though. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember. That, uh, that does a fair chunk of damage. Ooh! And I've only got 12 magic. Why, why did I not, uh, why did I not stay at the inn? Uh, yeah, sorry, ranged. I clearly have not had enough of the coffee that is sitting next to me. Because <laughs> uh, I, I do work my day job before doing these live streams. Let's, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's uh, let, let's go stop. Stay at the inn. The inn seems a very nice place to be right now. Oi. Yep, 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 yep. I I know, I know, I know. Need to rest? Please stay. Yes. Okay. How do I feel? A lot safer. <laughs> I I forgot how uh, how quickly those got. Yeah, I know. I, that's the thing that I was get, talking about, where uh, they just automatically talk to you whether you want to or not. Um, all right. Now here's the kicker. There's a pathway to the south of Brynar. Brynar. Um That... Where's my bridge? There's my bridge. All right. There we go. There's our statue of Onyx. Um. Can can I just comment on how utterly random finding that statue right there is? Y you literally have to go all around the li the river. I was about to say clicking. Uh, these guys. There's a bunch of these guys to the south. You cannot... Yeah. You, you need to get your levels up to, to manage that. Uh, uh, shall we? Yeah, let's take a look at the wise man to the north. And then we'll head back to uh, back to town. Brynamar. Brynar. A busy town is located south of the sealed cave. You should visit there. Okay, that's all the wise man has for me. I guess that's all I can work on right now. Oh man, the, these were. Oh. Randomizer that changes which stuff? Oh. Sorry, my my chat showing up on the wrong window. <laughs> ah. I can't handle technical difficulties and people throwing hatchets at me. <laughs> oh, Twitch, why do you do this to me? Alright. One day I'll be back here and I'll be so OP these guys won't be able to hit me. That day is not today. And I actually walked into that. How did I walk into that? Why did I walk into that? Oh my. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's... <laughs> um... I'm sorry. My, my chat feed just got desynchronized. Oh, it does do one damage. Okay. Huh. That's good to know. I didn't realize that. 
Let's uh, talk to a man about a statue. You used to have an unusual statue. Have you seen it? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, you need to use the statue to hand it to him. <laughs> hey, this is my statue. Thank you for finding it. If you need to go to the forest, use this gas mask to avoid the poison. You now have a gas mask. All right, so, uh, oh, that's right, uh, rabbit boots let you jump and you cannot have magic equipped. And the gas mask will protect us from poison and we'll get to, uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. First... Is that first? Yes, that is first. I want to go back up to the north. I'll have that ready. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm of two minds when it comes to that. Uh, on the one hand, uh, level caps are a nice, easy, straightforward way of uh, keeping you from going too far to where you ought not be. You gonna... No, he's just gonna tell me to go to the town. Alright, so it looks like my only other option is the poison forest. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's um let's make our way. Because if I were king of the forest. <laughs> All right, we'll head down this way. Now, here's where the ravoots come in handy. With a little creative jumping, you can avoid most of the poison damage. That's right. Those guys I can't do anything with just yet. These guys I can. Off camera, I'll uh, do some grinding to get the level up to the point where I won't need to worry about too much of that before things are uh, done. All right, here is the east. Oh, 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 oh. And I am. How absent minded is that? <laughs> the whole point of the gas mask is so you can walk into the poison forest. What genius would walk into the poison forest without the gas mask equipped? Let me have a sip of coffee before I continue. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Definitely, definitely some coffee. Let's uh, make our way through the poison forest now. Will let me save? Okay, good. Uh, weren't there some... I know there was a lot of floaty guys. This isn't a bad place to... Yeah, those guys. Ah, I hate flying them. 
As a side note, I always thought the game was kind of laughing at you. Yikes. Alright, forget the fighting. Let, let me just make my way uh, to the town. There we go. Go in peace. Now I want to go in the inn. Yeah, not not quite the duck hunt laugh, but it's not that far away. Go in peace. Go in peace. Hmm. You, you get the feeling that uh, they don't like outsiders. Go in peace. No, the shrubs aren't going to tell me to go in peace. Go in peace. All right, everybody's all go in peace. Uh, I was. All right. Here's the question. Got 113 bucks. Do I warp back to Brynar? Brynar? Brynamar? Brynamar? And stop by the inn to replenish my magic? Or do I try to hoof it and hope I make it? These are choices people have to make. Alright. Let me, uh, save here. Huh. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm going to try to make it through the poison forest without dying or taking too much more. Oh, no, 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 dead end. I needed to make that turn there. And then we're at here. Yes. All right. We're not going to play with the little piggies and their hatchets. Because the goal is to make it back to Brynamar and live to tell of it. We'll turn that off, because we don't have the magic anyway. Oop. Yet one job. One job. Ah, we'll leave that on. Alright, back to town, back to town, back to town. Alive. Back to town. Alive. Oop, oop, oop. Dodging. Weaving. There we go. There we go. Alright, first up, the end. I would you like mm, you're expensive, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> How do I feel? Twenty bucks later. Alright. Let's see. I've got Four herbs already. It should be okay. I've got two antidotes, and we haven't we haven't run into anything that out and out poisons us yet. But it might be nice to have a spare pair of warp boots. On the other hand, I only have ninety three dollars. Buying a, another pair of warp boots when I already have one is, is yeah that's that's just not a good use of money. All right. Let's uh, save, refreshed, and in town. And uh, let's take a little break. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes.
or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll note, get notified of all the new content produced from future games revisited episodes to coffee craft live stream archives, instrument repair, upgrades and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.